Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Bubbloon, aka Pabloon, and today we are taking a look at another new premium ship. This is the Tier 9 Commonwealth Cruiser Hector, and this is pretty much a Belfast hull with seven serious guns. The Tier 6 light cruiser from the British Tech Tree. This thing has serious guns. <laughs> Not as they are serious. Well, they are. They're pretty funny, but serious, and it is a Belfast hull. This thing also comes equipped with a very new and special skill, so why don't we take a look at this? So here we have it, the Hector, and um, the new skill we're going to get is going to be Crawling Smoke Generator. Set a smoke screen for the duration of 42 seconds. Smoke is active for 9 seconds. The cooldown is 120, and you need to slow down to keep your speed to keep you know to keep your ship in the smoke so you got to be at half speed and this thing has a long reload 120 seconds two minutes and you really got to think about when you use this but it's super fun along with that you get dfa3 and sonar and as you can see here we actually have serious guns and i did check these are the exact same guns that are on the tier six but you have seven of them you can get six firing at the same time and they have a six second reload with almost 12 kilometers of range 3% fire chance, and along with that, this baby gets 8 torpedoes per side that can be single-fired. So it's kind of like a Minotaur with HE. It's a little bit fun, in my opinion. I really like this. The AA is kind of bad, um, so it's not really an AA cruiser, even though it gets DFA 3. For the elite bonus, I went with the Escort Specialization here. And um, yeah, this thing is, is super fun. I can't wait to show you guys. I got a big damage game. For the camos, this is the historical one. I really like the look of it, but the best one is this one, the Irish Emerald, because you get surface detection and main battery firing range. But you know how I am. If I really like a historical camo, I would rather take that. So the gameplay you're going to be seeing is actually me using the worst camo. But hey, it's it's army green. It looks hella cool, man. For the equipment, we got reload, propulsion, and surface detection. Very, very standard by now. You guys have who's been here for a while, you'll see that this is like my go-to build. A commander here with battlefield support, artillery maintenance, air defense expert. Then we have the double healing skills and exploit weakness because this thing does not get any gun, you know, gun skills. I take adrenaline rush, but I would actually advise you against it because if this thing does reduce the cooldown of your smoke, then it's very, very worthwhile to take Mistweaver. I found out the hard way, trust me. Then I take Demo Expert, and we have Honor Seeker with APCS and Giant Hunter. So, this was the build I ran with. Now let's get into the first gameplay here. And, um, yeah, well, you guys know how I, how I am when there's a new light cruiser in town. I, <laughs> I'm always excited. So, the first game here, I'm pretty sure this was, yeah, this was my very, very first game in the ship. Completely first game. I did not know what to expect. I didn't even know how to use the smoke generator and you got you guys are gonna see how I use it Further along with the gameplay here now. This is not the highest damage gameplay that I got the high damage gameplay is very short, but f you know There's a lot of action and we're gonna take that after this one But I just wanted to show you guys my first experience with this ship now a funny story is I actually met pig bay um, in one of my games while playing this, we got a tier 8 game. We both were playing the Hector. Now, we did win that game, but seeing as we were two press accounts into completely new ships that people haven't seen before, obviously, we we got focused down pretty rough. So, that gameplay wasn't the most interesting, but we did win the game. And uh, I, I think Pig Bay can attest to this. I also think that Pig Bay would love this ship. I think Sly would love this ship. I think there's a lot of people who are going to enjoy this ship because the playstyle is... Something that feels very familiar, but this crawling smoke gives you a lot more opportunity as for farming damage. The way it works is you activate it, and it's active for I think it was it was 42 seconds or something. Um, and then you have to use half speed, and you kind of have to vary your speed. So already already before using it, you gotta think about that. You have to think, okay, I need to drop speed because if you go too fast, you're gonna get spotted. It shoots out a couple puffs every, you know, every couple of seconds. One big puff every couple of seconds. And that puff is going to stay there for, you know, another couple of seconds. And if you're going too fast, you're going to be outrunning your smoke. If you completely stop, you're going to be 
you know, detected very quickly because the smoke dissipates. But if you keep the right speed, which is, I found half speed, just, you know, using one one notch on the uh, acceleration meter, or the arrow, I should, I should call it, and that's gonna, you know, make sure you stay concealed. But it is a little bit fuck wonky, you know, you gotta ideally be in a kiting position, and I actually use my smoke screen immediately here. Now you can see I go one notch up on my speed, and I simply stay here. We have five seconds left of this smoke puff, and you can see that this this could be quite powerful in the right situations. And like I said, ideally you want to be in a kiting situation. Now this, is, like I said, was my first game, and I was lucky enough to have people pushing into me because obviously when you're playing a light cruiser, people pushing into you is pretty much like a Christmas party. It's just you know damage all around, meaning. Damage as in gifts, I know that could sound pretty wrong, but oh well. We're using our crawling smoke here and it runs out and you can see we could actually change position, you know, make this a bookie run away and then we can take on this daring. And here we see the torpedoes. You have a massive widespread and then you have a kind of, it's not as accurate as Minotaur or Daring for example, but you can still see you could make these insane doom spears and just send eight torpedoes down somebody's hole very, very easily. And you have eight torpedoes on both sides, so this thing can dish out a lot of damage. And now we're kind of in trouble. Because you can see here, I still have 86 seconds on my crawling smoke, and I'm very close to this Iowa. Now I'm pretty sure he's going to be turning away, because, well, he doesn't know if I've shot, shot torpedoes. He doesn't know what the ship does, too, so it's pretty clever for him to just get out, you know, further range and be safe there. But this is where Hector shines is situations like this where you have a BB trying to push you but you know kind of not really pushing in it's, you can just send torpedoes all the time is what I'm trying to say you see we have on both sides and now we're in a very very this is a very good example of why I use detection mod on pretty much all my ships we were dead here if we didn't have detection mod I'm pretty sure maybe we might have made it out but Look at this, we're completely hidden, nobody can see us, and we are just about to die if we did not have this detection mod. This is why I argue you should run concealment systems on pretty much, pretty much, I say. There's a lot of cruisers where it's not the best, but most of your cruisers, ideally, because it gives you the opportunity to disengage and come back for another fight when you have your heal and all that good stuff. We did get 8 torpedoes on the Iowa and well he's pretty low now and I got my heal and my crawling smoke is also coming up. So we know that there is an Ibuki to my right somewhere and then we know we have this Iowa so currently I'm not really feeling too stressed out. I just want to get a lot of damage is what I'm thinking because along with having you know these, these serious guns and these are actually serious guns, tier 6 light cruiser guns with a 3% fire chance. And as you can see, we can, we can still do quite a bit of damage using this crawling smoke. We're concealed. We are creeping up on him very slowly. We are very low though, so we, should, we need to keep that in mind. And Adrenaline Rush has now kicked in. I would still argue that having this smoke up faster is better for you, especially in the situation when the reload is 120 seconds. Usually with fuel smokes, I actually like running Adrenaline Rush because it means I don't use all my fuel smokes in the early stages of the game. In this situation, you want to have this crawling smoke for situations where you are about to get wrecked. And this is this could have been one of those situations. Now luckily we did a rudder juke and we somehow can get hit by a single one, still at 8000 HP. But we are at the, the area right now where we could get destroyed. Keep in mind guys, this is a Belfast hull and <laughs> I think they might have, you know, they have changed some, some statistics to make it fit tier 9 more. But it is not a tanky ship. It is a light cruiser, obviously. So also something of note to say is, even though these are tier 7 guns, they do have better range and a better reload. So they do have some changed values. But if you look at the name, just for namesake, it is the exact same guns as on the Sirius. And I love the Sirius, it's a great tier 6 cruiser, so I've always, I've known about this ship for quite a while on PC. So I'm very excited to see it coming here to Blitz. Um, it is it is pretty difficult to play in some regards, because 
I, I guess it's just because it's a new skill and you know I, I you need to get used to it but the, the, the crawling smoke is a very interesting mechanic and I think it's also going to be very easy to counter it's not that hard to figure out okay he's going half speed and I just saw a smoke cloud pop up so well he must be there now this gameplay right here we're lucky enough to be down tiered into tier 8 and we are gonna get rushed by a lot of ships we're also going to get completely destroyed ourselves, but I think currently as it stands, this is the highest damage I have seen with the Hector, and obviously it's because it's just me and the CCs who have it. If any of you other CCs got more damage, please tell me because uh, then my clickbait isn't isn't fair. <laughs> obviously, you know, I love a, a good high damage game, and Hector could definitely do that. So this is also a CV game, which uh, means we get to see how this AA is, and that is one of my main critiques of this ship is I think it should have better AA it's it might just be you know it might be a little bit too much I don't know I don't see this ship as being insanely strong when you compare it to a Friesland that is also at tier 9 and kind of does the same thing Friesland doesn't have torpedoes but Friesland has four smoke too and can set fire to anything and everything this thing has to sacrifice a little bit more and it's actually quite big so if you give this thing, you know, the light cruiser, you know, what should we call it, the light cruiser suite, where we have the DFA 3 and stuff, it needs to have a little bit better AA. Now these are obviously tier 8 planes, so, and they're German, so they go down pretty quickly, but I've also tried against tier 9 and tier 10, and it just doesn't seem like this AA is that good. So if I would give this one big critique, it's definitely that the AA is not very not very good in my opinion and if you look at the ship look at how many guns it has it should definitely have better AA but that might just be my opinion so we see this FDG pushing up here and I'm looking at my map trying to maybe predict where he's gonna be going and doing a doom spirit to see if we can get some free damage on him we still have 25 seconds of this crawling smoke so I'm just gonna reverse out and try to reposition to get my other torpedoes off we don't actually get all of our torps on him, we only get one, but he is keeping go he's gonna keep going in a straight line, so I just send my other side and we're gonna hope for more damage. Obviously, this is the easiest way to farm damage in World of Warship Splits is having an FDG or pretty much any battleship push into you. Because, well, eventually they will go down. Even though they think they're very strong and tanky, they they will go down at some point. We're not immortal on any of us, especially not FDGs, but this situation here is where Hector really shines. Situation where you can get all your torpedoes off and you can use your guns in your smoke. That's why I really love this thing, I think. It's it's a combination of Minotaur. It's a combination of, you know, your, your quintessential HE spammer. And then it also has a new skill that really makes it super fun. Now we have this Piotr, ba ba Piotr Bagration. That's a very hard thing for me to say. Um, pushing us right here and we use all of our torpedoes to, to maybe take him out here and he seems to be gonna he's gonna be eating some doom spear love right there and probably gonna go down now he actually does survive but luckily my teammate helps me here and uh, we, we do take him out now the AP is not bad at all either the it's, it's a big thing guys don't always use HE on your light cruisers especially when you're fighting stuff that's not a BB now we have a Richelieu pushing us down just straight down and we can actually just doom spear him you know until he kills us because he definitely will kill us but if you notice our damage we are at 108,000 already this was a very very quick 108,000 it's not even been four minutes guys and <laughs> these guys are just pushing but as you can see they are actually doing quite a good job of you know the Sejong is doing a good job of flanking me making sure that I actually can't really get away from this situation. All I can do is try to take out the Richelieu and do the most damage. I don't even have time to use my crawling smoke because it's not off cooldown. So you can see why taking Mistweaver plus, or sorry Mistweaver, is a good idea if it actually helps with the cooldown. Now we do kill the Richelieu, but we died ourselves. So interesting game, I would say. So that is going to be it for this video and the Hector here. All along, a ship I am very much looking forward to, and 
yeah, I, 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 it's it's gonna fit right into my port, and I think a lot of you guys are gonna enjoy this ship as well. Hopefully, it comes out in a reasonable way and not, well, I don't know anymore. Hopefully, it comes out in a bundle. That's all I can say. For me, this is definitely a, a recommendation, and if you enjoy light cruisers in general, you should pick this up. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name has been Bubloon, aka Pabloon. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers, guys. You are amazing. I, I appreciate it so much, and I hope you guys have an awesome and wonderful day. Signing out.